Okay, so here's B-2's video. The definition of continuity. So f of x is continuous at x equals a if three conditions are true. Number one, f of a is defined. Number two, the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists. And number three, the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a, okay? So basically number three says that like one and two are equal. Like you, you could think of it that way. All right, now example one. What are the three conditions for a function g of z to be continuous at z equals five? So guys, these exercises are really just trying to help you have fluency and memorize these three conditions. Um, okay, so number one, I need g of five to be defined. So is defined. Number two, all right, now this is where you gotta be careful because you need to, so, so instead of, so, so here, instead of x, I want z. Instead of a, I want five. And instead of f of x, I want g of z. Okay, so just be careful here. So I want the limit as z approaches five of g of z to exist, okay, exists. And then finally, I want the limit as z approaches five of g of z to equal g of five, all right? So you're gonna have four problems like that to do. And then you're gonna have, um, I don't know, a few problems like this to do. So how do you show that the limit as y approaches four of g of y exists? Okay, so how do you show something like that? Um, you show, you show, that the limit as y approaches four from the left of g of y equals some number, I'll call it c, okay, some number c. And that the limit as y approaches four from the right of g of y equals the same number, a concrete number, which I'm calling c. And then over here I'll say, so, so essentially showing this stuff, guys, you have shown your reader that both one-sided limits, that's what they're called, the limit from the left, the limit from the right, the right-hand limit, the left-hand limit, they're called the one-sided limits. So both one-sided limits exist. So they exist because they each come out to be a concrete number. But not only do they each have to exist, but they have to be equal and are equal. So both one-sided limits exist and are equal. That is how you show your reader that a certain limit exists.